is this week's biggest climber, status quo. That's called Margarita Time. It's 18 minutes to 9 o'clock. This is 2 on over the top 40. Oh, Caroline, let's go to the New Yorker opposite the Ramada. OK, Yar? Super, Henry, but why the... Charles said it's terrific and he must be seen there, you know, Yar? OK. <laughs> Number two last week, after being there for a couple of weeks, and down to this week's number four, Paul Young and the love of the common people. Now we come to the top three, and possibly the record that you might have thought would be the Christmas number one song. Last week's four, up to three, Culture Club and Victims. 14 minutes before nine o'clock at 210, the top 40. Many predictions that could be the Christmas number one single to Slade and My Oh My, number two last week's three. Remember, Benson's Nightclub, a great place to spend an evening. We're open till 2 a.m. with restaurant, disco, three bars and a friendly atmosphere. Benson's, Ramenham Hill near Henley. Come and see us. We'll make your music in the evening. Radio 2-1. It is six minutes to nine o'clock just before the number one single for Christmas 83. Here is the Christmas Top 40. Number 40 this week, Aztec Camera, and that's Oblivious. 39, Santa Claus on the Christmas Trees, and Sing Along a Santa again. Number 38, Ozzy Osbourne, Barking Still at the Moon. Christmas Spectre, The Jingle Bells, a new entry at 37. 36, Elvis Presley, that's another new song, I Can Help. Karma Chameleon, Culture Club, number 35, last week's 32. At 34 this week, another new song, Frank Kelly and Christmas Countdown. As cold as Christmas, Elton John's at 33, last week's 37. Rod Stewart's in at 32 with Sweet Surrender. It's Simple Minds at 31. Number 30, Assembly, Never Never. The Way You Are, Tears for Fears, 29, a non-mover. 28 this week, last week's 19, Eurythmics and Right By Your Side. Rat Rapping, Roland Rat, number 27, up one. 26, Dennis Waterman and George Cole together. And what are we going to get are indoors. Say, 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 McCartney and Jackson, number 25. 24, Shaken Stevens. Calling your name, Marilyn, number 23. 22, Paul McCartney. A new entry with Pipes of Peace. Wham, 21. And the Club Fantastic Mega Mix. Merry Christmas, everybody. Slade at number 20. Number 19 this week, Cool and the Gang off their new LP, Straight Ahead. That's all, Genesis, number 18. At 17 this week, Barry Manilow, Read em and Weep. Many rivers to cross, UB40 at number 16. 15 this week, Pretenders, 2,000 miles. Uptown Girl, Billy Joel, number 14. At 13, Michael Jackson and Thriller. Tracy Ullman, number 12, with Move Over Darling. What is Love, Howard Jones, 11. And the Christmas top 10, Cliff Richard, Please Don't Fall In Love at number 10. Let's Stay Together, Tina Turner at 9. At 8 this week, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers together, Islands in the Stream. Tell Me About It, Billy Joel, number 7. At 6, The Thompson Twins. And hold me now. Margarita time, status quo number five. At four this week, it's Paul Young, down two, and love of the common people. Culture Club, victims, number three, last week's number four. And the song you heard a couple of seconds ago, last week's three, nudging up one to two, Slade. And my oh my. It's now four minutes to nine o'clock, the Christmas number one song. <laughs> So it's still there, that's the Christmas number one single for 1983. That, of course, is The Flying Pickets and Only You. Here's the forecast then before the 9 o'clock news before Music 30. This evening, mostly windy with showers from time to time. There'll be a good deal of dry, clear weather in between there. And the winds will be easing off by the morning. Tomorrow will be a mixture of showers, some of them quite heavy, and dry, clear periods. These might be at times be a little haily, and the odd rumble of thunder could occur too. It'll be mild at 10 degrees centigrade. That's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. On 2 and meters, that's 1431 kilohertz. And in stereo 97 VHF, this is Radio 210, independent radio for the Thames Valley and North Hampshire. 210 News. It's 9 o'clock, this is Joanna Cross. Improving fast enough in our shipyards. Independent Radio News, it's three minutes past nine. Radio 210, this is Music 30 until 9.30 this evening. Then it's Gavin McCoy and Julian Dean for the Silicon Valley Show. In the Two one oh.
That's the latest single from Lionel Richie. So far not into the top 40. That's called Running With The Night. Seven minutes after nine o'clock, so it's music 30 until 9.30 this evening, as usual for a Tuesday evening. Always the top 40 at seven o'clock, and then music 30 with What's Behind the Music Makers. Firstly, news of punk, but not punk music. A businessman from Leeds who refused to give a job to a trainee, a teenager who had a punk haircut complete with all the spikes, has actually made his own haircut exactly the same way, just so people couldn't say to him that you didn't give this fellow the job because you didn't like punks. He did the same thing himself on his own hairdo. And always a story or two about a Rolling Stone to report, and this week is no exception, only this time there's a marriage in the family. Keith Richards got spliced last Sunday and Mick Jagger was best man. Keith and his top model bride, Patty Hansen, held the ceremony in Mexico, where else? And Mick flew in on a privately chartered jet for the service. Only 35 other guests attended the marriage, as the whole thing had been kept a secret until just before. Keith's parents flew in from Britain, and Marion and Angela, children from Richard's former romance with Anita Pallenberg, also attended. None of the other members of the band could be contacted in time to be there. At the same time, the groom, Keith Richards, was celebrating his 40th birthday. More news later. In the meantime, here's a track off the new LP from Kim Carnes. It's called I Pretend. It comes from the new LP from Kim Carnes. That's the lady, of course, who did those Betty Davis eyes a couple of years back. It's 30 minutes past 9 o'clock. Other news, what the butler saw in Music 30. Slade, as you well know from hearing the Top 40 earlier, are currently enjoying the feeling of double Top 40 success with, first of all, My Oh My, their first hit with new material in 10 years and the ever-popular Merry Christmas, Everybody. And next year, we'll celebrate 20 years of making music together. But Noddy Holder has revealed that the band very nearly broke up a couple of years ago. But they then played Reading, where else? At the Rock Festival. Uh huh. And things started to fall back into place, and so they stayed together. Looking forward to their 20th anniversary celebrations next year. There's a new invention by Sony on sale soon at £250, which will solve the always regular problem of having to appoint somebody at a party to turn tapes or records over every few minutes. It's a cassette jukebox which can be playing non-stop for 15 continuous hours of music. And lastly in this bit, Yoko Ono, who's been on business and Christmas shopping in London recently in the last month, will be spending the festive season back at her home in New York. And things look as though she will be celebrating a rather traditional Christmas. Fortman and Masons have just flown her over to America, a £180 Christmas hamper with all the usual fare. There's a lady who's been having all those problems with her Hobson's Choice on that tour recently, Annie Lennox, who flew to Austria to see a voice specialist. Big hit single for them earlier this year, the Eurythmics. And who's that girl running a rhyme and a bite with... I don't know. It's 18 minutes after 9 o'clock. A look at modern technology with Gavin McCoy between 9.30 and 10 o'clock this evening. And then Tony Moxon on night music from 10 o'clock until 1 tomorrow morning. In a couple of seconds, I'll be back here, returning with some more chat concerning what's going on behind the scenes in the world of what they do when they're not playing music. Oh, Caroline, let's go to the New Yorker opposite the Ramada, OK, yeah? Super, Henry, but why that? Charles said it's terrific and he must be seen there, you know, yeah? OK. Yeah, the New Yorker has a fabulous choice of really good wines, cocktails and real ales, terrific music, and it's open seven days a week. Super, the New Yorker it is then, yeah? The New Yorker, more than just a wine bar, more than just a night out. <laughs> Well, the current movie talk is that of who will replace Sean Connery and Roger Moore in future Bond films, as they're both getting and looking a bit past it. But talks are already taking place to introduce David Bowie in the films. He won't be playing Bond yet, but will work opposite Roger Moore in the next scheduled epic. Bowie will play a villain if it all comes off, and it's thought Bowie could earn as much as Roger Moore did in the last film, and that's a staggering £2 million. 
Beach Boys hero Brian Wilson, who's had a long history of mental illness and instability, has lost 10 stones as a result of psychiatric treatment recently. He did at one stage weigh in at 22 stone and was told by other members of the band, according to the doctor's advice they sought, that he must lose weight or die. And a young, spiky-haired punk who lost his job as an apprentice with Rolls-Royce has been given a chance of making good with The Clash. He's been given a place in the band as long as he can learn to play the guitar as soon as possible. So there we are. Now, you didn't hear this in the top 40 earlier, and if you had have heard it, you'd heard it at the right speed. It's Genesis. <laughs> They're on the way down, that's why you didn't hear it, that's all. Just as I thought it was going all right. 922 Genesis and that's all. Drug trafficking has always been big business in South America, but a new trade has emerged, selling baby parrots. And Daryl Hall has set up a fund to stamp it out. Baby parrots are packaged and sent in boxes and many die in transit. The reasons why the new idea is taking off is that the penalties seem to be smaller than for drug smuggling offences. So Daryl Hall doing some terrific work there to stamp that out. Uh, it's emerged that Rod Stewart had to fork out £10,000 of his own money after he overslept and lost a whole day's filming on one of his promotional videos for a single. Filming went ahead the next day and Rod forgot the words to one of his own songs. And then his skin-tight trousers split wide open down the back. Uh, and apparently it's all on film too. It's, all, it's also been revealed by the man who recorded the biggest hit song of 1983, he said it himself, Boy George didn't want to release Karma Chameleon as he thought it would be a chart flop. He also says his dad reckons he looks like an undertaker in the new Victims video. And after the story of the Clash Youth Opportunity Scheme we told you earlier of the fellow who got the sack from Rolls-Royce, the apprentice, who got the sack for wearing all the spiky hairdo, isn't The Cure have been advertising for two young musicians to join them for live work, they said. Well, to join them on their world tour starting next month. The address, if you're really interested, is uh, for sending a cassette sample of your work complete with a photograph, is uh, The Cure, <laughs> Care of The Cure, 46A Montague Square, London West 1. That's The Cure, 46A Montague Square, London West 1. If you fancy being part of their band for their New Year tour all around the world, expenses paid. And lastly, Stevie Wonder's label, Tan La Motown's, just re-released his classic Happy Birthday. That's to coincide with Martin Luther King's birthday on January the 15th. Uh, the B-side contains four of Dr. King's speeches, including the classic, I Had a Dream. There we are, it's 25 minutes after 9 o'clock. Gavin McCoy is on the way with Julian Dean for the Silicon Valley show up until 10. I'll leave you with Paul McCartney. Wasted time and again.